for me, boxing makes me happy. So how many times have you wanted to give up? Oh gosh. <laughs> Man, and I, you know, people always say like, oh, if you give up, that's not, you know, you can't want to give up because then that's the first, that's the first step to retirement and this, that, and the other. No, I think that's the realest you could be with yourself. It's saying, you know, like, I'm like, man, when is this, it wasn't that I wanted to give up because I didn't like it anymore. It was difficult. It was a struggle. But, you know, I have such amazing men around me and women, but I have my, you know, I have Haas, my trainer and my manager, Luigi, and they remind me, they speak the same language and they remind me all the time. They're like, listen, you know, you can quit tomorrow. That's probably the best advice Haas ever gave to me when I walked in the, when I walk in to his office in the mornings, you know, when I'm coming in and he can tell by my body language or whatever. And he looks at me and, he, and I'm like, coach, can we talk for a minute? We talk. He's like, he listens. And then he's like, okay, so quit. And the minute he says that, I'm just like, I just grab my bag and come into the gym because it's like, you know, I know I'm not going to quit. I'm allowed to everything that I feel. I just need to know that it's valid. Everything that I feel is okay. I'm war it's warranted. All my feelings are warranted. It's all, there's no reason why I shouldn't feel this way. Feel the feelings but then let them go and continue on your road. So when I'm sad, be sad. Don't let it consume your whole day. I'm in charge to say, no, I don't want to be sad anymore. But it's been tough. It's been tough, but it's a process. So besides how being an impact maker, who is your impact maker? Who inspired you? And I don't say this because she's here, but probably my mother. And I don't want to make her cry, and I don't want to start crying right now. But, you know, growing up, and I'm going to cry. And I know, I know, I'm going to cry. <laughs> as long as I don't cry in there. As long as I don't cry in there, it's okay. <laughs> oh yeah, I brought my own tissues. No, um, <laughs> yeah, I know. For me, I think my mom was a huge impact, and my dad, just the family, you know. And I'm so fortunate that I have that. I mean, I, I went to a homeless shelter last week, and I I was visiting homeless families, and there was a father with four kids, four girls, and he's raising these kids on his own, and he's in this this um, the city center trying to just get himself on a better path and a better road. And I'm like, man, how fortunate I was that I had the family that I had, that I was able to. You know, and, and that's a big thing for me is to be able to give opportunities or help where I can because I was so lucky to have the parents that I've had, you know, and, and no matter what they went through, no matter what we went through as a family, I, I mean, the best thing I ever heard from my father and my mother was that they're proud of me. You know, I may not be the richest person. Um, my success is what it is. I may not be on TV and doing, making all this money and doing all this stuff, but every day, you know, they can say they're proud of me. And, and I, I can say I'm proud of myself and, and I'm doing the work and I'll continue doing the work. So watching them do it and watching them support me and knowing what I put them through and knowing that they're still there for me, that unconditional love really does exist.